Well, hi there, Leo, and welcome to your channeled intuitive forecast from the Gasmic Tarot as we expand on the energies into August, September, and October 2021. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for everyone else. All right. Since it is general, you might want to take a look at the forecast for your moon, rising, and Venus. If you don't know what those are, there's a link in the description. And if you want to, if it resonates with you, if you want to claim the reading, you can throw a comment below the video. Oh, two popped out. The Emperor and the Queen of Fire. All right. So we have some foundational cards here. Let's get started and then we'll clarify with the smallest deck in the world. Let's just put this here for now. Okay. Probably can't see them all, but we're going to give it a shot. So let's get started here. Oh, by the way, thanks again for your likes and subscribes to support the channel. I really appreciate that. So we've got the star. And the star is about, you know, in, in to, from August through, through um, October, it's about being inspired. It's about being hopeful about life, inspired, um, creative juices flowing. It's about enthusiasm, renewed sense of um, encouragement, uh, you know, seeing after, you know, seeing the last year as a different kind of experience that's helped you grow bigger, better, bigger, better, stronger, bigger, better, stronger too. <laughs> okay. Then we have the queen of earth and the queen of earth is about being grounded. You know, I mean, think about it. The old oak tree, you know, the roots into the soil. Uh, it's about being here on earth. Um, this is a beautiful, look at this beautiful woman and she's got that connection to earth. She's got the connection to wildlife. She's got the antlers. So it's about practicality, being grounded, being resourceful, being the gardener, tending to your garden, you know, the, um, being honest with yourself. Very important. Then we have the queen of fire. And the queen of fire, look at this, kind of looks like Morgan Fairchild, okay? I don't know if you can see that, look closely. Yeah, right? Um, and I apologize for the energy distortment. There's a lot of spirits in this room. This is about creativity. It's about that passion, that spirit, that artistic flow, the co-creation of you and spirit. This is about the dance, you know, the dance of creation, bringing things from the from your mind's eye into the material world. And then popped out is the emperor. And I have to tell you, Leo, the lion, the emperor on the throne, not taking any prisoners. This is about authority and rules and being that strong leader, that strong sense of advice, big confidence, self-esteem. So solar plexus chakra. Um, this is um, really about taking charge. So this is uh, an extra little card that popped out. Great foundational cards. You've got inspiration, being grounded, having that vever, that fire in the belly, and knowing that you're unstoppable, you are the authority, you're the king of the jungle or the queen of the jungle. Woohoo! hoo All right. Excellent. Let's just throw that there. And let's pull from the smallest deck that I did pre-shuffle, but let's just do another shuffle. I always talk about these cards. They're so cute. They're also very slippery. So we'll try to not f fall all over ourselves here. Oh, see? Look at that. Okay, apologies. I try to be gentle with these. All right, spirit. Which one? Which one? For the highest good of our Leos for August, September, and October. This one. Okay. Oops. Jeez Louise. Stay. 
now let's see what we have okay so the beginning of this period end of July beginning of August maybe before then maybe you've still been carrying on to this um, I'm getting this feeling of being overwhelmed all right being in a period where you have some anxiety so so you've got this with this ten of uh, sticks the ten of wands the ten of rods doesn't matter what you call it look at this guy he's got a lot on his plate he's got a lot going on and he's just overwhelmed he's stressed he's feeling overburdened too much he's taking on too much too much on his shoulders and you've been carrying that for a while and you know it manifests itself in the physical form uh i'm getting from spirit uh it's manifesting itself in stomach problems it's manifesting itself in back problems for you you know it's that 3 a.m you wake up your anxiety you're anxious you're you're worried about stuff and i see this disappearing I see this, you're moving away from this as you, we move in more into this period in the next three months. Yeah. So you have opportunities here for the next amazing thing. And what is that? It's a new journey, a new sense, a new leap of faith. For some of you, you will be traveling. All right. For some of you, you are finding that childlike innocence again. And you're saying... WTF. No, I cannot say that on YouTube. Well, I can say it, but I won't say it. Um, WTF. I'm going to take this new journey. There's a door that's open and I'm going to put caution to the wind and say, you know what? I think I want to try this. Uh, I think I want to try this new job, this new situation, this new area to live in, this new... This is a total departure for me. And I think what, what we're seeing here, especially with what's gone on with COVID, people are, people have spent time, especially Leos, have spent time to really find out who they are and what they want, what was is acceptable and what is not. You didn't, Leos, you did not go and hide in the flipping closet. Not you. I mean, you may have been inside because you had to, and now you're saying, WTF, I'm out, I'm about, I don't care what you think, I'm moving forward. And by having the queen of, of earth here, even taking that leap of faith, you're still grounded. You're still grounded. Uh, you're doing it more responsibly. Uh, and... I see this queen of pentacles. The, the, the spirits are playing with my dog right now. It's very cute. So I see the queen of pentacles. And the queen of pentacles is about having the wisdom, having the support you need to actually move forward. And you have it here with spirit. You have the practical support. You have the structure, the authority, even moving into something new. Wow. And you have the King of Pentacles. So what's going here, what's going on here as you're moving into a new space, a new business, a new opportunity to make money? Um, I see that there is some kind of security there, some kind of financial security. Maybe you're also going into a partnership with, uh, with, with somebody who is adding to the mix and picking up where you have these talents, they have these talents, and you're combining them together. Maybe one of you has a head for business, the other one has um, a, a, a client base, and you're going to bring structure to that, something. But yeah, there's an opportunity. Um, there's This is about matters improving. This is about money and property. Wow, and you've got the Knight of Pentacles. Look at this. Um, and this, the Knight of Pentacles is about financial gain. It's about 
uh, partnerships too. So maybe this business is something that you're going to be putting together with a partner. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. Although somebody's spirits coming in and saying you are starting a business, you're moving with somebody who you're in a relationship with all at the same time. So if that's you, put you, put a comment below. That's that's really um really cool. Really cool. All right, one more. Yeah. Whatever it is, you're actually building it. This is a uh, the three of coins. And the three of coins is the architect. And the architect is about uh, creating something new. It's about new businesses, presiding. You are presiding. You're the president of the business. You're building. could be home improvement build, um, kind of build. But for the most of you, I do see more creative projects. I see lasting projects, lasting enterprise, something that's going to bring you um, material gain here. All right, what do we got on the bottom? Wow. And we have the sun. Wow. Okay, so again, August, September, October, moving away from anxiety, the ajida, the heartburn, the feeling of stress and overwhelmness. Uh, by the way, Spirit is saying, if you feel overwhelmed by what's on your plate, the Emperor coming in here in the foundational cards will give you the, the spur you want to structure your ideas, structure your business and your relationships here. Now the Sun, success in all aspects of your life, your life will improve. This is about feeling comfortable where you're living. This is about partnerships blooming under the sun. And again, this partnership could be a business partnership. Um, this is about taking uh, some, some type of adventure we were talking about before. So maybe a trip away to clear your head. Uh, and you've got the success here. You've got opportunities for success, structure, the fire in the belly, staying grounded. Wow. I'm very excited. I have Leo in my chart. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the next three months as we all move forward together. All right, guys. Thanks again for your likes and subscribes. We'll see you next time. Take care. Enjoy the journey and the coffee or the espresso.